Hello and welcome. Today we will be trying out some water-soluble oil paints in a new-to-me brand. My name is Miranda and on this channel we do mostly watercolor, but let's admit it, sometimes there's other supplies out there that we just love to play with. So that's what we're doing today. We're checking out the Cobra water-soluble oil paints. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and check out the other videos. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you in our community. Let's get these oil paints out and see what we can do with them. So a little background in case you're new here. My background is in oil painting. However, I have not used water mixable oil paints except for that one little experiment I did in that one video, which I'll link up here. So they seemed like normal oil paints and the ones I had did not actually clean up with water very well at all. So that was interesting. So we're going to try this Cobra brand. The brand I had is a good brand, Holbein, but they're very, very old. They're probably 20 years old. These are the supplies here. The college purchased for me to get ready for the class along with this brush set, which I'm not sure I'm going to be very happy with. The bristles feel a little plasticky. This is all from Blick and I'll put the links down below. I have a big tube of white because we need lots of white in this kind of painting. And then this set of 10. 40, 40 mil tubes, set of 10, 40 mil tubes, and all of these beautiful colors. These are brushes the college already has a big bucket of, so I will try them out as well, except this is the biggest flat brush they have, so I think that would be a little challenging. It's great, obviously, for small stuff. I wanna try these out too and see if we can at least use them in some of the painting. Here's the little bit of playing that I've done previously with these, and so we'll just use the rest of this palette for these. I also have this old canvas, <laughs> very old canvas, that has a painting that was kind of wiped off of it that I will paint over today. It's already toned for me. Here are all the colors out of the tubes. They're very pretty so far. Let's see how they act for us. I wanna try this big flat brush because these will be the ones that we'll use the most here some water back there, and I have a little container with a tiny bit of linseed oil in it. Yeah, not sure about the brush. Let's get some linseed oil. Well, at least spread really nicely. That's good. Way better than <laughs> the look I was having with the other ones, that's for sure. Put that a little too thin, I think. A-okay. Add in some of the brown. I don't really like the brown. Let's do green. Much better. Let's see what water does with the brush. So I need one of those silicoils, which we do have at the college. Just something to rub the brush against inside of there to help get the paint off. But yeah, that worked way better than the uh, old oils I was trying to use. Let's get some yellow on this subject here. Too much linseed oil. Apple looks kind of funny with the uh, butterfly antennas sticking out of it, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that's hilarious. All right, we have an apple, ladies and gentlemen. Probably need a stem, huh? Let's get a stem, but let's get rid of that background a little first. Let's mix some white linseed oil and some blue. All right. I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what that would look like without butterfly 
antennae back there. Just getting the rest of the paint off my brush. Let's get that little round brush from the college and try that out. I'll stem going on. White from the background, back off the brush. More color. Darker. A little bit lighter. <laughs> Done. Not bad for less than 10 minutes, right? Well, this was fun. This was way more fun than trying out those duo aquas <laughs> that were way too old. So these spread really nicely. Thank you guys for the suggestion because I was going to go with Windsor and Newton because they're more easily accessible to people in our area. But you guys all are like, no, I think you should try the Cobra, which is good because I don't really like Windsor and Newton products all that well anyway, it seems like. At least, I don't know. I have a lot of their oil paints and those were always fine for me. But the watercolors, I'm not thrilled with their watercolors. The colors are beautiful. I should say though that if you're going to use Windsor and Newton watercolors straight out of the tubes, then they're fine for that. But you don't want to let them dry out and then try and use them. This brush, by the way, uh, came clean in the water, which is cool. <laughs> so that's great. And it wasn't horrible to use. It's a little scratchier than some of my brushes, but less scratchy than others that I have. So I guess they'll be okay. I think they're too expensive though. This set, just this set here was $16.33. So it's a great starter set as far as the shapes that it has inside of it. But I think that you could probably find some better brushes than this. They'll work for this class, except, you know, we only have one set. Let's try this little flat brush out real quick and see what we think of that. I wonder if we could do, if we have enough colors to do a green apple, that could be interesting. That and a bunch of yellow. I don't have my palette knife out right now to mix some of these. That's very bright green and that's not enough paint. <laughs> yep, not enough paint. Okay, this brush worked fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's just small. I don't usually work with such small brushes in oil painting, so I don't know. We'll do small projects and use a few of these brushes. Why not? Okay, two apples. <laughs> so I'll be trying out some more projects with this soon. I want to pre-practice every project that I want to do with the students in the class. It's a six-week class, so maybe I'll throw in a few of these water-soluble oil paintings for you. Sorry about the noise, the dog's chewing on a bone. Let me know if that's okay with you, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. I know that I'm mainly in a watercolor channel, so if you guys wouldn't mind seeing a few paintings like this, let me know for sure in the comments below. Also, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out, I guess. That's what they say anyway. <laughs> and it makes me happy to see that you guys hit the like button. So appreciate all of you that already do that. You guys are awesome. All of you who watch my videos are also awesome. I can't believe there are over 1,200 of you as of the filming of this video that enjoy my channel. Thank you so much. Well, I hope this video has inspired you to pull out some of your more unused art supplies and have a go with them. It was certainly fun. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. If this is your first time with us, then go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel and if you see, if you see what you like. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> How did that sentence even start? Well, I hope this video has... So just a little background if you're new. These are... No. <laughs> new. These are the supplies the college... Per, per, I should say, though, actually, if you're going to use Windsor and Newton... I should say, though... Hold on. 
I don't have my, what do you call it? <laughs> I don't have my palette knife out right now to mix some of these 